Thank you very much. You know, it's 23 years since you last invited me to do this. It's very nice to be back. <laughs> By the way, if you have any difficulties hearing me, please do let me know. Wave a hand or something. Uh, when I was last here, I traced the burgeoning influence of the Alexander Technique in the field of actor training. Since then, the plant has flowered. It's everywhere. And the influence of the Alexander Technique is accepted pretty well everywhere in the world of actor training. And I think, for that, we who work in the field owe you a debt of thanks and congratulations. So thanks and congratulations. <laughs> Uh, I also believe that uh, the best is yet to come. I actually think that one day the power of conscious, constructive control will revolutionize acting itself. But um, that's matter for another such occasion, uh, perhaps in 23 years' time. I'll try and stick around. The technique is not now offered as supplying in itself a comprehensive vocal training any more than it offers a complete movement training. One of its virtues, to my mind, is that it's non-specific, being concerned rather with the integrated functioning of the whole. It provides foundations for good voice and movement as it provides foundations for the best performance of which our bodies are capable in any physical activity. But could it be offered as a more effective foundation? I'm certain that as far as voice is concerned, if it's to be true to itself, it could and 